Hey guys, I'm here at A-Fest in, well, Dallas, Texas. Yes. Dallas, Dallas, Texas. A-Fest has been around since 1994. I know some of you guys out there, you weren't even born until 1994, but A-Fest has been going on for a while, so. Hi. About hand hugs? Hand hugs. This is what hand hugs are. <laughs> Hug. I had no idea about this until now, so. Yay. Now I'm going to run around country and hand hug people. Do it. Especially at cons though. Because people are just you they're over a table and you're like awkward like hugging you or just like hand no, hug. Hand hug. Hand hug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean I've always kind of had a love for Smash Bros and I've had a lot of people ask me to join their groups and I thought, you know what, yeah, but Bowser's kind of my favorite and I thought this would be a cute way of doing it. Actually, these are made of bed sheets. Bed sheets? Yeah, we just we found bed sheets in different fabrics that would work. Um, this was actually a jacket lining, and so it took a long time to get it all in right shape. But yeah, so it was all just thrown together. So now only us time ready, bring in the cookie! <laughs> oh my god, 10 out of 10! <laughs> Actually, I saw the um, musical, Shrek the Musical, it's on Netflix. They have a movie of it and I watched that. And the far quad from that, he actually has this whole setup. He has the knee pads and he has the legs in front, so I kind of went after that. What is the best thing about cosplay? The people you meet, they're all so friendly. Okay, the people you meet. The best thing about cosplay is skills you get. Like, skills. Yeah. I like the memories that I share with these two right yeah. here. So. Ah, memories. <laughs> we just saw a kid that was named. Um, oh, uh, yeah. This woman. She told me uh, that her she named her child Kara Zarel, which is Supergirl's real name, before she took a picture of me, and that was. I don't know, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was like dedication to a character. Yeah. I just had some friends that lived up in Dallas and, you know, I actually just got through some uh, personal, like, you know, life troubles. And my friend's like, you know what, come up here in June, enjoy yourself. I'm like, you know what, the hell with it, why not? And I had a blast. This. I actually got post-con depression. I actually, like, felt sad leaving the convention. I just, I got hooked and I started taking cosplay more seriously and, you know, there I am. In the mid 70s, we were a very small underground culture. We didn't have words like cosplay and otaku or even nerd back then. We were just people who loved Star Trek and then Star Wars. And we liked the we liked the philosophies and everything else. We started dressing up to show that we were attuned to these things. Part of AFS would have to be like the rave, just because I'm the DJ. Yeah, he's uh, one of the DJs there, so yeah. we always come to support our friends. Yeah. Oh, nice. DJ Millie Max, you know. Uh, but yeah, I DJ, and so that's one of my favorite parts. Uh, but other than that, it's just seeing all the great cosplays and like meeting really, really cool people. Yeah. Yeah, people. most definitely. For me, it, it seems like the art style has just kind of exploded. You can have way more seen. The, yes. the cosplays have just gone off the charts. So I can't complain. I saw a box seat from Five Nights that I was just absolutely squealing over. Okay, so your first convention was in 1976, and it was a Star Trek convention? Yeah, it was uh, the 10th anniversary of Star Trek, and also the, the nation's bicentennial, so they called it Bicentennial 10. It was just a weekend convention, the Statler Hilton in New York City, behind Madison Square Garden. And it wasn't, it wasn't a really small convention, I think at least 5,000 people showed up. And it was... I just had a blast. Uh, <laughs> I wore one of the worst cosplays I've ever made in my life. I was a beginner. They've got some good stuff this year. Ah, oh, I hate this guy. He's crazy. He's very popular with the cosplayers, so. though. If anybody wants to swap, let me know. For Matsuri, I wanted to make my own book, and you made a book? Uh, yeah. He did. And I Not made like it. yours. Though. No, that's okay. Um, 
I want to see this book. They sent me a second copy, and I'm going to give you the second copy. You're just going to give me a copy? I feel like I should buy this from you. No. No, I feel like I should buy it. No. Ooh, look at this. I'm making this guy work. I'm making this yes, guy draw a whole... Me, he's making me sign and draw so much. Doodle! Even I can't do those things. You have to doodle. You have to do something. It's asking. something my friend sent me. <laughs> okay, I gotta find So what you sign in, Eugen? I'm signing a softbox. Cool. You can sign anywhere. Anywhere you find space. Uh, anything you want. Like... Cosplay... Okay, okay, no, I'm gonna write down where I am. A fast... 25th... Ah! Okay, I'm gonna sign. I'm going to sign it in the future, 2020. Oh, oh so that means so that your introduction to cosplay was actually cosplay fever. Yes, cosplay fever um, was the first introduction to cosplay. I found the book in my university library while I was doing costume research, and it was just on the shelves. And I opened it up, and I was like, "What is this?" And it was just. It's like your book, it's just pictures. And it would have a little caption and then it would explain what it was in the back and I was just like... What, what is, is it? it? This is amazing! So Cosplay Fever, for those of you guys who don't know it, is a cosplay book from the UK that came out around 2010. So it came out at the same time as my book, but it's from the UK, so... So yes, yeah. that was my introduction to cosplay and then it, it was wonderful. And now I'm a big fan of everyone who does cosplay. Awesome! <laughs> So today we're going to go back and find where I shot at Akon back in 2009. And it was actually in this room, Pearl Room 4. Which is today now known as the Gaming Room Number 4. So yeah, so back in 2009, I actually was in this room photographing for the first Cosplay America book. So. It's kind of like history coming back home again. Okay, so you're the Garris that's on my cover of my uh, limited edition cover for Cosplay America V2. I don't have any hand, this is my hand sign, V2. <laughs> Gang signs for all V sign. So how does it feel that you're on the cover of a book that's in limited, limited edition? It's actually pretty cool. I mean, I've, I've been following you for years, so to actually be able to be on a publication is actually very cool. I, I've been doing cosplay for 15 years now I think about it. So, and, and I always do it for fun. I've never wanted to be famous. I've never actually wanted to get my photo taken. That's why I always do co uh, mascot costumes. Yeah. You never know who I am. I could be anyone. That's the point. And to actually, for, for actual recognition, the fact that I'm actually part of a product, something this great, in my opinion, it's like, it's an honor. It's very cool. Wow. Can I ask you a video question? Yes. How did you make this? 16 hours and a lot of time wasted. Is this your first one? Oh, this is my first full body. I've been doing, I do a lot of props. Oh, really? Dude, no wonder it's so good. I know Nautilus. you. Nautilus? Do you remember me? Yes. Nautilus. What is it made of? Urethane rubber. Is it heavy? No. No. Oops. Ah! <laughs> ah! I broke it, I broke it. <laughs> I'm recording you guys. Oh, nice. I have a YouTube channel. Hi guys, I'm here in Dallas, Te Dallas, Texas. I almost, I want to say I was at Akon. I'm not at Akon, <laughs> but if you look around, this is the old Akon Hotel or Akon Convention Center. So now it's A Fest, and these nice gals are looking at my book. Zoom, zoom, <laughs> zoom, <laughs> zoom. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to make you seasick. Uh, land sick, land sick, not seasick. All the gems you see are resin casted into the fixtures that I bought. Then the dress was draped, there wasn't any pattern or anything. Um, I bought some lace online and I, I dyed it with tea. Oh wow! Yeah, Earl Grey tea. So it smells like Earl Grey tea. <laughs> Um, all of the beads were hand sewn onto the garment. Um, this took about a week. It was crazy. Uh, you know you're a cosplayer when fill in a blank. Um, we'll come back to you. When you have more scars from hot glue than anything else. Your sister makes your costume. <laughs> I still have two. This is my first one. <laughs>
<laughs> uh, you're doing it the night before. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? You know your cosplayer when? You're eating the props. You're eating the props? I do. Okay. Our right. cosplayer win. You carry around a glue gun. You make your fangs an hour before, and then you bite through your lip, and you use the blood as part of your costume. Oh no. When you don't get a summer. Your summer is just for animals. Yes. How are you? Late nights sewing and crying. <laughs>